Now that we have iPhone 15 at one dollar Steven, let's talk about iOS 17 as it is currently available to download right now. And there are some exciting new features that came this year that you should definitely not miss out on. So let's dive into them. The first one is customized contact poster. You can pretty much customize the way your profile looks when someone receives your call. So whatever you set here in terms of photo and poster and your name, and that will appear on the person who is receiving your phone call. You can put your own photo or you can change background and even you you can set memojis instead of your photo that will appear on the person who is receiving your call the second one is the name drop where you can bring two iphones together but make sure they are both running on ios 17 and that will share contact details so you don't have to text them manually it just makes the whole process easier and not just that you can share music photos videos instead of going into the system manually you can just bring those two devices together and it will start sharing those and the third one is the video voicemail in facetime and honestly Honestly, this is really helpful because when someone doesn't pick up your FaceTime call and you really want to give this message as quickly as possible, now you have an option to record a video and they can look at it afterwards in the FaceTime app. Now before we move forward, if you're really enjoying this content, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe if it helps you in any form or shape. Next one is the iMessage. Now you can quickly reply someone by just holding on the message and start replying instead of just waiting for that reply button to appear. Another one is the audio transcript transcription where if someone is sending you audio message now you have transcript that appears right underneath so if you can really play back the audio and if you really want to see what the message is then you can just read the transcript instead of uh, actually listening to it if you're in a situation where if you're in a meeting or something this is really helpful there's also this new feature called check-in where uh, you can send someone message and send a location where you are going you can set the time as well and the location and if you don't reach to that new location in specified time it will send a message and your current updated location to the person who you send the check-in informations and this will really help in terms of security where if someone is you know late or they are not where they're supposed to be at certain time then you know you can check up on them and call them what's up next one is my favorite which is standby mode and now if you have iphone that is charging wirelessly and it is in horizontal mode and it is not just sitting on a, like a stand or a desk then it will start showing up this new interface face where it will show clocks different styles calendar and you can set up pretty much different kind of widgets like music or anything that is useful to you so instead of opening your phone every time now you can just glance at it and it just looks cool and it looks nice sitting on a tabletop and it has also this new dimming feature where during nighttime when it's dark it will change its colors to all red so it doesn't really create any eye strain or stuff like that next one is home screen widget interactions well you had widgets before for, but it will take you to the apps and you don't want them so now what happens is you can pretty much interact on those widgets directly from your home screen so you don't have to go into the app and stuff like you know weather or notes or any stuff like that you can just quickly swipe from your home and it will just make whole experience much smoother and quicker instead of going into the app every time you want to interact with those stuff the next one is the screen distance alert where if you bring your iphone too close to your face it will give you alerts to move your iphone a little bit away from your face to really prevent any eye strain and any long-term problems or injuries to your eyes and until you don't do it iphone won't let you do anything else another one in the list is the private browsing lock with face id where you can lock certain tabs in your safari which you can only access by your face id and no one else can look at them so if you are visiting sites that you don't want anyone else to know this is the feature for you <laughs> and now we have a new update in apple maps where you can download maps of certain region offline so now you don't have to really rely on the internet connectivity if you're traveling in a places where you know you won't get the best connectivity now you can just select a certain region and just download that into your iphone locally and that way now you don't really rely on any internet connectivity and there is no delays in your travel next one in the list is the adaptive audio so now if you are airports pro now you have a new feature called conversation awareness and adaptive audio where in adaptive audio what happens is it will duck down everything that is not necessary around you and causing you any ear harm it will duck down those noises around you and kind of give you a little bit of both world from fully noise cancellation and transparency mode so it kind of creates the best of both world where you still have awareness around you but it's not really bothering in your music and when someone starts talking to you it will automatically duck down the volume of your music so you can hear that conversation clearly without removing your airpods or stopping music manually another one we have is the 
the automatic verification code message removal where you can go into the settings and turn on this feature and what happens is when you get a verification code after a while it will remove from your iMessage so they don't really stack up into your messages and stay there until you don't delete them so that's really convenient moving along is the live voicemail where if someone is calling you and you can't really pick up that call and when they start recording the voicemail now you can read the voicemail live as they're recording it so if something that is important to you now you can just click on call back and it will straight call them as they're recording the voicemail next one is the facetime for apple tv where you can use your iphone as a camera and you can put it next to your tv and start facetiming through apple tv so in situations like if you have big family and a lot of people that needs to fit in the frame you can just put your phone next to your tv and talk through apple tv and another one is visual lookup in ios 17 visual lookup just got so much better now where you can use your iphone's camera and point towards some important icons such as tags on your shirt and it will tell you what those icons mean and it's really helpful in those situations where something that you don't know you can just point your camera and get the information right away and start doing your thing and if you've missed the last apple iphone 15 event make sure to check out this video where i'm going through everything that apple launched in this event so you don't have to sit there and watch for an hour okay now if you're still with me i really wanted to share something quickly so until now to prepare this kind of videos i just write down all of my thoughts into this script and when i start making this video i just read through the script so that i don't get lost in the video but for this video i tried something different where i just wrote bullet points uh, what i wanted to talk about and all the points that i wanted to touch and everything that i said in this video was pretty much instant so the reason why i'm telling you is that i want you to really tell me if you like this format or if you even noticed any difference between my previous video or this video yeah so just tell me like which format did you like more which one was more on to the point the previous one or this one so i just really need your feedback on this and your input so i can make my videos much better and i can make more sense to you guys without wasting any of your time so yeah that's pretty much it see you in the next one